Have you ever wondered why some people who are mean, loud, disrespectful, and sometimes even just nasty, find success in their career or business, while the most down-to-earth, sweet, and nice person finds it difficult to even get their first promotion and generally struggle in life? If you feel like you're too nice and it's negatively impacting your progress or achievement in life, make sure to watch till the end of the video because I'll be sharing 10 reasons why being too nice can lead to failure. But before we start, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I talk about how you can find your passion and go after it at any age, how you can find balance even at the most difficult times in your life, and how you can be happy with the things and the people you already have surrounding you. So if you're interested, make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos that I upload three days a week. Now, let's get to today's topic. to every single person, even those that are openly disrespecting you, you will develop depression, anxiety, and even addiction. This will happen as a coping mechanism for where you're trying to make up for the self-loathing and self-doubt you'll experience as a result of letting others walk all over you without any resistance. And because you keep all your feelings to yourself, even if the other person deserves a stern warning for saying or doing something that hurts you intentionally, you'll be the victim the second time by your own doing. And this feeling of helplessness and continuously fighting with yourself in order not to disappoint others can end up affecting your mental health, destroying your self-esteem and losing confidence in yourself. Number two is people will abuse your generosity. When you give the impression to others that you'll be nice to them no matter what, they'll take that as an invitation to use and abuse you because they know you're too nice to say anything and they won't even bother to be nice to you even if you're bending backwards to help them or you're being too generous with your money, time, energy and instead they'll focus on how they can benefit from your kind nature without thinking for a second what that will do to you. When you're being too nice, you're being blind to people's ways and you're expecting way too much by hoping that they'll reciprocate your kind gesture. But we're all different and if you're foolish enough to think that everyone has your best interest you're in for a big surprise. Number three is you'll develop resentment. So if you're the kind of person that's kind, caring, and will do anything to help others, even at your expense, without expecting anything in return, that can be considered a great quality in a person, but can also create problems in your relationships. This is because people will get used to your kindness and won't even consider it special after some time. In fact, the more you do for others while ignoring your needs, the less you'll be appreciated. Because now that you've done it for so long, it's expected of you to do good without actually anybody acknowledging your good deed. And even though you shouldn't externalize your self-worth, sacrificing so much and doing way more than you should for others can lead you to developing resentment even towards the people you love the most. Number four is you never voice your opinion. Now, just because you're nice, it does not mean you're not opinionated. But the fact that you're looking out for other people's feelings can keep you from saying what you really mean and voice your honest opinion on many issues. But if you're refraining from sharing your ideas, not only are you hurting your chances of achieving something in your career or life in general, you're also denying others to learn from you, especially if you happen to be an expert at something or you have some kind of life experience that can be useful to others. So. Stop being too nice to the point where you have to intentionally hide your wisdom and your life experiences. Number five is you can be perceived as weak. Now, you might be the strongest person who went through the most difficult times and came out the other side a winner, but your soft and unthreatening nature can give the wrong message and people can perceive you to be weak and unambitious, even though you are the complete opposite in reality. And even though you shouldn't be too worried what others think of you, when it comes to things that can negatively impact your relationships and your performance, you should work to correct some of that in order not to be mistaken for something you're not and live up to your true potential. Number six is you'll attract the wrong people to your life. Narcissists and generally toxic people seem to be drawn to people that are too nice because they'll accept them without any judgment. Now, it's good not to judge others, but to let them freely exercise their narcissism or negativity without setting any boundaries and setting them straight every now and then can encourage them to do more damage without feeling any guilt. If you 
you're being overly nice, no matter how old you are, it just means that you are not aware or haven't fully understood the variety of humans on earth. Just like there are people that gave their lives to save others, realize that there are the opposite kinds in every walk of life. Number seven is agreeing to everything. Being a yes man or a yes woman can make you open to new opportunities and allow others to work and engage with you easily. But you have to put a limit to how many times you say yes to people, especially when they're proposing things that are against your interest or things that don't serve you. Agreeing to do favors for others while putting aside your own stuff can mess your life because you're prioritizing other people's needs and demands. So you have to learn how to say no and also realize that it's okay not to always agree with people and tell them straight that you have a different idea or opinion without feeling like you've let them down. Number eight is self-blame. When you're too nice, you're looking and even creating possibilities and scenarios to put the blame on yourself whenever something goes wrong. You'd rather beat yourself up and accept responsibility for other people's mistakes, even in situations where they have clearly done you wrong beyond any doubt. You'll be making excuses instead of confronting them or at least letting them know how they made you feel. Blaming the wrong person will never solve any problem. And if you keep pushing yourself to the edge by accepting everybody's nonsense, you'll finally break down because you can only take so much. Number nine is you'll treat others better than yourself. If you're addicted to being overly nice and selfless, you'll make everyone else happy and be busy with other people's issues. This not only takes so much of your own time, it also means that you're focusing and putting all your energy in treating other people right at your expense. You don't want to be perceived as selfish, so you do everything you can to please others. And in the process, forget about your own needs and aspirations because you're tied up with other people's lives. Number 10 is you'll be unhappy. So if you haven't figured it out by now using the above nine points, the conclusion is that if you don't figure out how to communicate with different people differently, being a doormat and allowing everyone to walk all over you can not only do a number on your self-esteem and confidence, but can also lead to serious mental breakdown, including depression and anxiety. So stop being overly nice and maintain your peace of mind by avoiding the need to please everyone at your expense. So that's it for today guys, I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in another video where I talk about how to love and accept yourself, click somewhere here. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share your ideas, thoughts, experiences down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss my other videos. Until next time.